Right friends, welcome back to question and answer session 1. This is uh, for 17th week from 20th April to 26th April. And let us look at the first question. When do we observe the Earth Day? Every one of us are well aware that April 22 is observed as Earth Day. I would like to add a few points in this regard. First and the foremost thing is uh, this uh, Earth Day for the first time was uh, conceived when UNESCO held its uh, convention in San Francisco in the year 1969 and subsequently in the year 1970 for the first time Earth Day was observed but at that time it was observed on March 21 but later on it got changed to April 22. So, all over the world Earth Day is observed on April 22 and almost 192 countries are observing this Earth Day and do you know who designed the flag of Earth Day? It is John McNeil designed the flag of Earth Day and let us move on to the next question. The World Malaria Day was celebrated on World Malaria Day celebrated on April 25. Every year it is being celebrated on 25th of April and the theme for this year is invest in the future, defeat malaria. The theme for this year's malaria day is invest in the future, defeat malaria and do you know almost 20 crore cases are being reported all over the world and last year around 6 lakh people lost their lives because of malaria across the world. Last year, almost 6 lakh people lost their lives across the world. Most of these deaths took place in Africa. Right? Under these circumstances, observing World Malaria Day assumed its own significance and the theme for this year is invest in the future, defeat malaria. Look into the next question. Amid controversy, name the country which celebrated its centenary of genocide. What is a genocide? Genocide is nothing but extinction of one particular race or one particular community. That means, complete elimination of one particular race or complete destruction of one particular community is known as a genocide. Unfortunate event during the First World War, genocide of one particular Armenian race took place. Genocide of one particular Armenian race took place by the then Ottoman Empire, at present it is known as uh, Turkey, the then Ottoman Empire extincted Armenians, almost 8 lakhs to 15 lakh people lost their lives and this incident occurred 100 years ago. Recently, Armenia celebrated 100th year or centenary of genocide, but there are divergent opinions and the present day Turkey is not recognizing that genocide occurred in Armenia. Whatever the difference of opinion in world over, many countries recognize that there was extinction of Armenian race during first world war. Right, looking to the next one. With the Supreme Court intervention. Charu Khurana became the first woman to be enrolled as a member of Mumbai Makeup Artists Association. With the Supreme Court intervention, Charu Khurana became the first woman to be enrolled as a member of Mumbai Makeup Artists Association. Previously, women were not allowed as the members of Makeup Artists Association, but Charu Kurana approached Supreme Court and based on the intervention of Supreme Court, now she became the first woman member of Mumbai Makeup Artists Association. Look into the next question. When do we observe National Panchayati Raj Day? We observe National Panchayati Raj Day on April 24th. Why this April 24th is observed as National Panchayati Raj Day? The 
the significance of observing national panchayati raj day is in the year 1992 73rd constitutional amendment bill was passed in the year 1992 73rd constitutional amendment bill was passed which gives powers to local bodies like panchayats which gives powers to local bodies that means decentralization of power to local bodies came into existence with constitution 73rd amendment bill and this was implemented from april 24 1993 decentralization of powers to panchayats was implemented from april 24 1993 to commemorate this panchayati raj day every year is being observed right friends look into the next one where is the headquarters of the international olympic committee international olympic committee is headquartered in lausanne in switzerland this was established in the year 1894 international olympic committee headquartered in lausanne in switzerland and it was established in the year 1894 please look into the next question thomas back who has visited india recently he is the president of international olympic committee thomas back who visited india recently he is the president of international olympic committee and please do not forget he won gold medal in 1976 montreal olympics thomas back who is the present president of international olympic committee won gold medal in 1976 montreal olympics look into the next question name the india's first novel stealth destroyer of project 15 b class what is novel stealth destroyer it destroys missiles and what is a stealth why it is called a stealth because it cannot be seen by radars you know the meaning of stealing what is stealing taking away the things without anybody's notice like pickpocketing and all these are stealing like that stealth destroyer means its presence cannot be felt by any radar and recently 15 b class was launched at Majagon Docks Limited. Majagon Docks Limited is in Mumbai. Recently, this 15B class of a stealth destroyer of Navy was launched. The name given to this stealth destroyer is Visakhapatnam class stealth destroyer. Initially, Delhi class destroyer was there. Subsequently, Kolkata class destroyer was there. Now, Visakhapatnam class destroyer is 15B class. It is designed to destroy missiles. Right? Friends, look into the next one. IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, publishes every year red list. What is red list? That means, it lists out biological species which are on the verge of extinction or which are endangered or which are threatened. That list is known as red list. Previously, there were 973 species were in the red list, but they were increased to 988. Red list is the list of extinct or list of endangered biological species. International Union for Conservation of Nature publishes the red list every year. Last year, they were 973 and this year, they increase it to 988. That means, more and more species are threatened. Right? Look into the next one. In Ahmadmi Party rally in Delhi, Gajendra Singh, a farmer, committed the suicide. He is from Dausa district of Rajasthan. He is from 
Dausa district of Rajasthan. Please look into the next one. Name the two naval ships. You all very well aware that India's operation, Operation Rahat, which is nothing but evacuating Indians from Yemen region, evacuating Indians from strife torn Yemen. Yemen is into civil war. There is civil war going on between government led forces supported by Saudi Arabia on one hand and on the other hand Houthi rebels. Intense civil war is in progress in Yemen and recently India evacuated Indians and more than 40 countries nationals from Yemen which was applauded all over the world and this operation name is Operation Rahat and two naval ships were used for conducting this Operation Rahat and the names of these two naval ships INS Tarkash and INS Mumbai. These two naval ships were used and people were evacuated from Yemen by using these two naval ships. Right friends, look at the next one. The World Book and Copyright Day to commemorate world literature. This World Book and Copyright Day is observed every year on 23rd April. Why? What is the significance of 23rd April? 23rd April is the death anniversary of William Shakespeare, famous British author William Shakespeare. Death anniversary falls on 23rd April to commemorate that the World Book and Copyright Day is being observed every year on 23rd April. Look into the next one. India plans to give three Cheetal helicopters. This Cheetal class of helicopters are manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. And recently, three Cheetal helicopters were given to Afghanistan. Right? Look into the next one. Raise of gold imports is the major cause of concern in India. Raise of gold imports is major cause of concern in India. In March 2015, gold imports value is very high and close to 5 billion dollars. That is 4.98 billion dollars in the month of March 2015. That means around 30,000 crore rupees of gold was imported by India. Do you know what is the annual gold consumption in our country? It is around 900 tons. Annual gold consumption in our country is around 900 tons. Please look into the next one. During 2015-16, IRFC, IRFC is nothing but Indian Railway Finance Corporation plans to borrow. Railway is into massive augmentation of uh, wagons as well as massive augmentation of railway lines. And recently, Life Insurance Corporation of India came forward to give 30,000 crores every year to railways and now Indian Railway Finance Corporation is going to borrow 17,655 crore rupees. 17,655 crore rupees for augmentation of railway wagons and other infrastructure. For purchase of railway wagons as well as to augment other infrastructure, IRFC is going to issue bonds and mobilize 17,655 crores of rupees. And please remember, out of this amount, they are going to borrow 1 billion dollars from outside. That means 1 billion dollars abroad by issue of rupee offshore bonds. By issuing rupee offshore bonds, they are going to mobilize 1 billion dollars abroad. Right? Friends, look into the next one. Name the country where eight foreign drug convicts are about to be executed. Indonesia. Indonesia has got one of the toughest laws for drug trafficking. Heroin was trafficked 
these eight people were caught in various uh, drug cases out of these eight people two are uh, ringmasters and death penalty was imposed and indonesia is going to execute that penalty on these eight uh, drug peddlers right friends look into the next one sesa sterilite limited changed its name sesa sterilite is owned by vedanta group vedanta group is by anil agarwal vedanta group headquarters are in london and sesa sterilite is owned by vedanta group and sesa sterilite limited changed its name to vedanta limited recently right friends look into the next one recently we completed 25 years of launch of hubble space telescope This was the joint venture of European Space Agency and NASA. I would like to tell you few points. This Hubble Space Telescope was introduced into low earth orbit around 25 years ago. This was the joint venture of NASA as well as the european space agency and why this telescope was introduced into low earth's orbit the basic purpose of introducing it into low earth orbit is because if you take pictures from ground level you may not get a clear picture of various celestial objects because of atmosphere to avoid the effects of atmosphere this uh, telescope was kept at around 550 km above earth that is low earth orbit so as to avoid effects of atmosphere that means so as to have clear picture of celestial objects that is the main purpose of uh, introducing this in the low earth orbit so as to avoid the effects of atmosphere right friends this hubble space telescope is the joint venture of nasa as well as european space agency friends look at the next one tax notices up to 40000 crore rupees were slapped on foreign portfolio investors for payment of mat what is mat mat is minimum alternate tax what is foreign portfolio investor foreign portfolio investor is the investor from foreign land investing into indian stock markets investing into indian stock markets and now the government slapped the tax notice on the capital gains obtained by them because of their investment in stock markets Please don't forget the foreign portfolio investors are the investors from foreign land who invest in the stock market of India right friends look at the next one Indian Railways launched a mobile application or popularly known as mobile app for paperless unreserved tickets started on a pilot basis through mobile application you can get train tickets and initial stages it was introduced to cover 15 stations of suburban railway section in chennai later on it may be extended to other cities also but in the initial phase a mobile app was launched to issue unreserved tickets on pilot basis in chennai right look into the next one What is the annual allocation under the Member of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme? Members of Parliament, they are Lok Sabha members, Rajya Sabha members. They can give recommendations to district collectors with regard to execution of works of their choice up to a value of rupees five. crores per annum rupees 5 crores per annum each member of parliament can give recommendation 
to the district collector to take up works of his choice in his constituency if he is member of lok sabha he can recommend in his constituency if he is member of rajya sabha he can recommend anywhere in the state where he got elected to rajya sabha right friends look into the next one center stated center means government of india stated that four nuclear reactors of 2 by 700 megawatt at kakrapar and 2 by 700 megawatt at ravatpata will be ready by 2019 that means four nuclear reactors are going to be ready by 2019 kakrapar is in gujarat and ravatpata is in rajasthan it is in chitorgarh district of rajasthan near kota right this ravatpata atomic power project is in rajasthan look into the next one name the international news channel which was ordered to go off air for 5 days as it showed the incorrect map of india repeatedly the television channel has shown incorrect map of india repeatedly and subsequently government of india ordered its non availability for 5 days that means as penalty it was ordered to go off the air for 5 days that is al jazeera english channel the answer here is al jazeera english channel which has shown india map wrongly several times look into the next one united nations sponsored climate change meet united nations sponsored climate change meet is going to be held in december 2015 the city is paris in france in that conference several agreements several major decisions are expected to be reached and the city is paris in france look into the next one name the bank which claimed that launched an application on their smart watches which facilitates the account related information last week we discussed about uh, watch launched by apple smart watch by apple now please look into this question the bank which claimed that it launched an application on their smart watches that means you can get the bank balance through watch this uh, facility was given by ICICI bank the largest private sector lender in the country please look into the next one name the country that clocked a speed of 603 km per hour for maglev trains these are nothing but bullet trains maglev means magnetic levitation technique what is maglev maglev is magnetic levitation technique that means there will be a gap between rails and wheels there will be a gap between rails and wheels wheels will not be running touching rails there will be a gap because of the technique of magnetic levitation these trains run and recently japan tested the train to clock a speed of 603 kilometers per hour right look into the next one which of the following announced investigation into the claims of unfair trade practices resorted to by google against google unfair trade practices these allegations nowadays became so common across the world and recently european commission came up with an investigation into the claims of unfair trade practices by google the answer here is european commission please look into the next one who resigned as the chief editor of indian historical review sabya sachi bhattacharya is not happy with the developments taking place in ichr ichr is indian council of historical research and he resigned as the chief editor of indian historical review 
right friends look into the next one name the country which is requesting india for allotment of cricket ground in india for practice of their players it is afghanistan please don't forget recently three cheetal helicopters were given to afghanistan now afghanistan heard asking for a cricket ground for practice of their players right the answer here is afghanistan please look into the next one nc ntca national tiger conservation authority has recently given final approval because if any national park is to be converted to tiger reserve then ntcs approval is required national tiger conservation authority has recently given final approval to convert rajaji national park and kudremukh national park into tiger reserves we have discussed in the previous question and answer session rajaji national park is in uttarakhand and kudremukh national park is in karnataka please look into the next one 24th yudhveer memorial foundation award was given to sunita krishnan for rescue restoration and rehabilitation of victims of trafficking rescue restoration and rehabilitation of victims of trafficking that means child trafficking in our country is the biggest problem and this organization prajwala which is co-founded by sunita krishnan is rescuing and preventing the trafficking of children and recently she was awarded yudhveer memorial foundation award 24th yudhveer memorial foundation award this award was instituted in the name of yudhveer who started daily hindi milap a urdu daily in 1949 to commemorate yudhveer in the memory of yudhveer who started urdu daily in 1949 this award was instituted so this 24th yudhveer foundation award was given to sunita krishnan for preventing child trafficking please remember this award carries 1 lakh cash prize as well as citation and don't forget the institution started by sunita krishnan is prajwala last question of this part asian development bank headquartered in manila in philippines will provide loans worth 2 billion dollars to construct or upgrade 31000 kilometers of rural roads in five states these five states are situated in the eastern part of the country where the road network is not that satisfactory and already pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana program is there to connect rural habitations and now asian development bank came forward to upgrade 31000 kilometers of rural roads and in this connection they gave a loan of 2 billion dollars right friends let us wind up this lecture please do join for part 2 have a nice day thank you